Hello everyone let's continue with the story, Eugene looks at Senya and thinks, what should I say, Senya looks the same as she did 300 years ago, but I look completely different now, she won't recognize me, I'm actually Hamel, but I reincarnated as Vermouth's descendant, if I say that she'll tell me to cut the bullshit, even after 300 years, I'm sure her personality is still cranky and she still swears. And then Eugene tries to grab her arm, and it just passes through, he gets surprised and thinks, a ghost, no this is a hallucination made from magic, as Eugene stands there, Senya turns and says something and disappears, Eugene says, found, me, and he smiles and says, I found you too, Senya Merdane, Eugene thinks to himself Senya is alive, that's why she came to find me, how did she know, did she remember my soul the same way Tempest did, or was it because of my necklace, Senya knew about my reincarnation. But if she sent me a hallucination that must mean she is in a situation that doesn't allow her to come to me physically, then sealing, did she do it to herself, or did someone seal her, maybe it was the demon king of incarceration, either way she can't come to me, I get it, you came to find me this time, so I'll come find you next, right after that Gargis comes and says, why did you run off in such a hurry, Eugene replies, none of your business, let's head back, Gargis asks. You want me to show you the red flame method, you would have learned the white flame method at the main house, why are you interested in the red flame method, Eugene replies, I'm just curious Gargis says, it's not difficult and he flexes his muscles ripping his shirt off, Eugene asks, can you not use red flame method without doing that, Gargis replies, I can, it's just a mental thing, and Gargis shows him the red flame method, watching that Eugene asks, does the core also split with the red flame method? Gargis replies. With the original red flame method taught by the main family, the core doesn't split, but my family has succeeded in increasing the stars of red flame method to five, thanks to the efforts of our predecessors, as far as I know there are only a few families who've attained five stars using the derivative flame methods taught to the branch families, I have also trained to increase my starts to two, Eugene thinks, so his family's red flame method is only 5 stars, despite being one of the top branch families. Even after 100 of years of development the red frame method's limit is for 5 stars, the white flame method is reserved solely for the main family, while the red flame method is taught to the other families, this is why the gap between the main and branch families will never be closed, but I don't get it Vermouth wasn't this kind of petty bastard, I was gonna learn the red flame method if it had a potential but I guess there's no need, and he says, nice and walks away, Gargis asks, are you leaving already, the giant's testicles are gonna, be here soon, Eugene flipping his finger says, you can keep those to yourself, then we see inside the red magic tower, Eugene thinks to himself, it said Senya's final magic texts are in a crayon witchcraft they must have some clues about senior both Roberian and the dark magic tower master said they tried me recommendation so I can be optimistic about gaining entry to Acreon you fitted 300 years just a bit more won't hurt right Senya. Looking at the moonlight fragment he thinks, a mere touch. With the moonlight sword breaks the structure of mana, and disperses it but with this tiny fragment, I won't be able to disperse high class magic. I can still disperse lower class magic though, so let's have at it, if my mana doesn't break down from the fragment that means that my mana's unity, will become stronger than the limits of the white flame method. As she goes to the Eugene's room she hears a blast and just enters the room asking, Sir Eugene, what have you been doing? He replies, I was training my mana along with magic training, she thinks to herself, but there's no magic circle, and what's that, the walls and... The floors are all cracked and broken, but that fragment alone is fine, then Eugene shows her as he uses magic missile and fireball, after watching that she thinks to herself, he's gotten faster, he's perfectly using his core like it's a circle, and his mana's unity is so strong, how is that a first circle's magic missile and fireball and she asks, are you practicing warfare magic, he replies, I am focusing more on just training the mana itself, and I have had some progress, and then he thinks. To himself, at first my magic was dispersed before it even really burst, but now I can force the dispersing mana to stay together to create an explosion nearby, then the girl asks, that's great, I heard there were explosions coming from your research room, so I was worried you might injure yourself from training too hard, Eugene says, 
Did you come all the way down here because you were worried about me? She replies, not just that. The tower master wants to see you, Eugene says, I see, is he on the top floor? She replies, no, he's in the Royal Library Acreon, Aratha's capital, Pentagon, the center of the Pentagon shape created by the five magic towers, that's where Aratha's castle, Abram is. Built in the middle of a great lake, Abram cannot be reached without a boat. Neither Pentagon's floating carriages nor any kind of magic will take you across the lake. This is because of the demon ceiling circle that surrounds the entire lake and Abram. This gift that Senya gave to Aratha's royal family as a token of friendship has lasted even until now hundreds of years later, crazy and Eugene thinks to himself, I've come to understand a bit about magic since coming to Arath, but it doesn't feel possible to me that one can surround such a giant lake and the entire castle with a demon ceiling circle, then the girl asks, do you want to visit Abram? He replies, I was just looking, because it seems nice, it's not a place I can visit just because, I want to. She says, that's true, only magic tower masters and high nobility can enter Abram even the magic tower masters can't use magic in Abram, the only ones who can are, the royal family and the castle mages who have sworn absolute loyalty to them, Eugene asks, does that mean the magic tower masters haven't sworn their loyalty to the royal family, she replies, they have, but they don't obey unreasonable orders. Magic Towers and Arath have a mutual cooperation agreement, it is the parliament not the castle that holds a deep relationship with the Magic Towers, the castle has their own group of mages, so the Magic Tower mages are typically for the parliament, not that the mages are against each other or anything, as they come close to the gates she says, there are three people who disagreed with you being recommended to Acreon the Blue Magic Tower, Master the Green Magic Tower Master, and the Mage Guild Master. If you can gain their recognition you'll be able to gain entry into a Acreon. I'll be going then, Sir Eugene don't be too nervous, and good luck, as he enters he greets the tower masters sitting on their spots, caption of the castle's mages, temple wizarder, red magic tower master, Roberian Serpus, green magic tower master, Generique Osman, blue magic tower master, Herdouth Auslan, white magic tower master, Melikith Elhaya, Dark Magic Tower Master Balzac Ludbeth. Mage Guild Master, Edgar Gyron. And Aratha's first successor in line, Hanine Abram. Looking at him Eugene thinks, I've heard about one in the first successor in line, and the genius that reached the fifth circle before reaching adulthood, Blue Tower Master says, I have heard plenty about you, but the Dark and Red Magic Tower Masters here have been aggressively advocating for you. I'm aware you're a talented individual but aren't swordmanship and magic two very different things, and he thinks to himself, he's only 17, a kid like him who's only just got ton into magic, received an Acreon recommendation, no way, there has to be something behind this, the Red Tower Master is an old friend of the Lionheart Patriarchs, and that Dark Tower Master probably wants to get close to the Lionhearts to cover up his shame from the recent incident, Eugene replies, I understand. Then what must I do here to gain your entry into Acreon, Roberian says, you need to show us your magic. The noble and vice mages here will analyze your magic, then the blue tower master says. Originally you would also have to show us your dissertations and other research, but I assume you don't have anything like that. And hearing that Eugene gets serious and says alright, I'll be starting, then. And he starts to charge his mana. Looking at Eugene's magic, one of them thinks, he did not separate his core and circle, instead, he combined multiple cores to form a circle. Eugene has only been training his mana for four years, he's definitely talented at managing his mana, but that's not enough, there's a big difference between managing mana well and understanding magic, as they see, Eugene using different kinds of magic together, they start thinking, he switched to a different magic spell smoothly, and didn't even have to chant any spells out loud. He must perfectly understand the magic he's using to be able to do that, and they ask, can you use both magic and your sword aura together, Eugene smirks and shows them he can do it, and they start to think, his circle is still intact he's using his circle but it still functions as a core, then they start discussing about it, asking Eugene to step out for a bit, Blue Tower Master asks Rogerian, are you sure you didn't guide him in any way, he replies, I've told you multiple times, he has received guidance from no one. 
He has only read Red Magic Tower's introductory magic texts to study magic on his own. Blue Tower Master says, is it possible to read only introductory magic text and achieve an understanding of magic at that level, then the successor says, he's a lion heart, a lion heart of the Kiel Empire, a descendant of Vermouth the Great, isn't it known throughout the continent, how great their blood is, what do you think, I could sense Eugene Lionheart was genius, the magic that little kid showed us just now, it was first circle, but its power definitely exceeded that of a first circle, you, all felt that right, the mana's purity, the preciseness of its arrangement, what was especially surprising was the unity of mana, we'll have to check, but I don't think even a fourth circle level of dispelling would deactivate that kid's magic, and one of them says he's too young though, I must admit he's a genius but there's no need to hurry since he's so young considering Acreon's prestige, I don't think it'd be an issue to have the Red Tower Master teach him for a few years until he is undeniably fit for Acreon, then grant him entry. Blue Master says, I believe it'd be good to think of it as an investment, 17 years old, talented, a lion heart, he is young and while his skills definitely aren't enough just yet, he has limitless potential, we are already on friendly terms with the Lionheart family but separate from that we can do Eugene Lionheart a favor as an individual and invest in him, the Green Master says. However talented he may be he's still an adopted son, he won't become the patriarch anyway, the Black Master says. One of the twins, Cyan Lionheart will be the patriarch, technically, Iod Lionheart is the rightful successor but considering his recent shameful event and his inferiority, he won't win the fight for the patriarch's position, even if he can't become a patriarch, Eugene Lionheart's footfold in the main family shouldn't be understated, that's right he will have to leave the main family at some point. If he gets married and has children, it is the Lionheart custom to move out of the main family residence, we should invite him to a Roth when that happens, he'll be skilled enough in a few years, so if he doesn't forget the favor we did him, he'll be dependable ally in time. Eugene is also said to have shown he was greatly skilled in the blood succession ritual four years ago, even the Lionheart family has recognized that potential in him, with the added support of Arath. He might become the second coming of Vermouth the Great from 300 years ago, Green Master says, you seem to be heaping. On the praise for him, are your statements absolutely yours, and yours alone, the Demon King of Incarceration, that you have contract with I'm just curious whether he holds any influence over your words, Black Master replies, the Demon King of Incarceration is occupied with Helmut's business. Besides, if I was speaking for the Demon King of Incarceration, I'd have behaved a little differently, I would have been far more determined and used my power, and the atmosphere gets cold, then he says, I am sorry, if I sounded a bit aggressive, but I simply mean, I am the most devoted when it comes to the wishes of the Demon King, then the White Master says. It does not seem like we will be coming to an agreement anytime soon, so why don't we just vote, the longer we take the more bored that kid will be, and the successor says, I agree with granting Eugene Lionheart entry into Acreon.